Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Accounting Superstar channel. I'm Professor Don Bush, and I've been teaching accounting for about 30 years and been a CPA for about that long. I've got a lot of great ways to explain accounting. We're going to study accounting for operating leases from the lessor's point of view. And all the other lessons have been from the lessee's point of view. Now, um, operating leases have recently changed. Uh, they're a lot more complicated than they used to be, especially from the lessee's point of view. But fortunately for us today, the lessor, uh, accounting for operating leases by the lessor is pretty much the same and it's quite easy. So this should be a pretty fast lesson. So let's get started. So this is uh, Weed Whackers Are Us. So we're looking at Weed Whackers uh, Are Us and they are leasing a weed whacker to when we get to a construction and we're using the exact same information from the previous example example number three so here we go so coming down here let's find out the details of the lease and uh, this is a big repeat of things that you've probably have already heard if you've been watching the previous video so I'm going to go rather rapidly so here we are same facts as the operating lease. Uh, let's see example number three. So here we go. 1.1 when we get to construction is leasing a weed whacker from Weed Whackers R Us. 1.2 lease agreement begins January 1st, 2001. The weed whacker is not of a specialized nature. It's not a special weed whacker, simple weed whacker. 1.4 lease is non cancelable. 1.5 the lease term in years is three years. The weed whacker has a fair value at the beginning of the lease of $200. 1.7, the weed whacker's economic life in years is five years. So that includes the uh, lease period too. So grand total of five years. 1.8 is quite important in leases. Estimated salvage value at end of lease, unguaranteed at the end of three years, uh, as opposed to guaranteed. Uh, this is very important in figuring out how much to be capitalized. So, $80. No lease renewal options when we get to a construction will not own the weed whacker. The lease interest rate used by weed whackers are us is 6%. Lease payments are made annually beginning January 1st, 2001 at the beginning of the year. This is very typical of leases. Fortunately, in this example, it, it's still quite easy. 1.12 Weed Whackers or Us depreciates equipment on a straight line basis. Five years, no salvage value. And finally, 1.13 Weed Whackers or Us annual depreciation for the Weed Whacker lease to when we get to it is $40 per year. So, coming down to the calculations. Now, a lot of times in these problems out of your textbook, they'll tell you what the payment's going to be, but we're going to figure it out because it's good practice. So, here's what you do is step number two, determine the annual payment, 2.1. Find the present value of the residual value. Well, the residual value, unguaranteed, is $80. And that's from the information up above. The interest rate, 6%. The lease term in years, three years. And we need to find the present value of the residual value. And so to find this 6717, all you do is you go up here to formulas, you go to financial, come down here to NPV, and you just fill in the numbers. So the first question is the rate, the rate of interest, 6% of value one. What we're doing is finding the present value of $80 in three years. It's the present value of a lump sum. So for the value for value one is zero. Coming down, value two is going to be zero, but value three at the end of the third year is going to be $80. So all you do is click on it and you press OK and you have the answer. All I'm going to do is exit out of this because I already have the answer. There it is, 67.17. Gotta love Excel, it is so much easier. 2.2, determine the amount to be recovered through the lease payments. Well, the fair value of the Weed Whacker is $200. That comes from the information up above. Less the present value, the residual value, 6717. We got that number from right up above. So, folks, the amount to be recovered through the lease payments is 132.83. So, let's find out the actual payment. 
So 2.3, determine the amount of the annual payment. So um, amount to be recovered, 132.83. We found that just right up above. The interest rate that is being used is 6%. That was also stated above. The number of annual payments is three. So we need the help of Excel to figure out the payment. So all you do is you go up here to formulas, go to financial, go to payment, PMT for payment. And if the print is small, I'll help you with it. The rate is 6%, so you just click on 6%. The number of periods is three. And the present value is 132.83. And we have to type in the number one where it says type. Type in the number one. The reason why number one is if you leave it blank, Excel uh, says, oh, the uh, payments happen at the end of each year. Well, that's not true. The payments happen at the beginning of each year. So we need to type in number one, and that tells the computer that um, that the payments happen at the beginning of the year. So I'm going to just hit OK, um, or not OK. I'm going to exit out of this because I don't want to mess up what I'm doing here. And there's the payment, 4688. So coming down to step three, we're going to double check, make sure this is an operating lease or a financing lease. And actually, um, it's, e it's easy uh, for us here. All the answers, as you can see, are no. And that means it's an operating lease. If any of these answers were yes, it would be a financing lease. But let's go through them real quickly. So test number one, is there a transfer of ownership? No, when we get to construction is not going to own that weed whacker. Is there a bargain purchase option at the end of the lease? Can, uh, when we get to it construction, buy the weed whacker for a dollar or $10? The answer is no. Is the lease period 75% of the economic life? Well, what you do is you look at the lease period, which is three years, and divide it by the economic life, which is five years, we get 60%. 60% is less than 75%. The answer is no. Going down to test number four, the present value of the lease payments equals 90% of fair market value. Well, present value of the lease payments is 132. Where'd the 132.83 come from? It came from right up here. We figured it out. There it is. It's the amount to be recovered through the payments. And the fair market value at the time of the lease inception is $200. So you take 132 divided by 200, you get 66%. 66% is not 90% or greater. So the answer is no. And is this weed whacker of specialized use? And the answer is no to that also. Now some good news. Step number four, usually we do an amortization table, but when we have an operating lease, for the lessor, we don't need to do an amortization table. So we can go straight to the journal entries. This is going to be a quick lesson here, folks. F record first lease receipt on day lease is created, January 1st, 2001. So this is the day the lease is created. Uh, the uh, lessor is receiving money, 46.88, and they're crediting unearned lease revenue. And the reason why unearned re lease revenue is because no time has passed the lessor is receiving this money right on the day of signing the lease. Now at the end of the year, there's going to be two journal entries, two adjusting entries. Record adjusting entry at the end of first year, December 31st, 2001. Well, uh, at the end of the year, they finally did earn that revenue. So we're reversing out the unearned revenue and claiming lease revenues for 46.88. So we're just renaming that. And then we're recording depreciation. Uh, record annual depreciation, December 31st, 2001. Well, depreciation expense is 40. Accumulated depreciation is 40. If you're wondering where that's coming from, well, it was in the information right up here. There it is. Here it is in the original information, 1.13 depreciation, $40. So folks, the journal entries are so easy. That's Those are the journal entries for the first year. And the journal entry for the second year is identical. It's absolutely identical. There's not a bit of difference. And the journal entry for the third year looks like it's identical again, not anything different. So um, just to review it real fast, the entry for the third year, exactly like the first and second year, 
At the beginning of the third year, on January 1st, they're receiving a payment for cash. They're crediting unearned lease revenue because they have not earned that money yet. The time has not gone by. At the end of the year, December 31st, 2003, they are debiting unearned lease revenue for $46.88, crediting lease revenue. So they're reversing out more or less this first entry. They're claiming the revenue. And finally, they're claiming the depreciation, depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation. There you go. So ladies and gentlemen, this is all there is to it. It's that easy. Well, that was one of the easiest lessons in a long time here. So if you enjoyed this lesson, if it helped you out, hit that like button. Let me know that these videos are helping you out and that way I'll make some more for you. Subscribe and that would help out too. And until next time, over and out.